Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to review a TV series called Resident Alien from 2021. Now, the story goes as follows. Alan Tudich plays an alien who crash lands on Earth. Uh, so his mission is halted and his mission is to destroy all humans. You know, um, now he has to quite literally blend in with the humans, put on a, like a human skin and you know, figure his life out for the next few months until we can get his, his ship back together. Uh, uh, you know, so that, you, you know, he has to adapt to human life and, you know, like I said, quite literally blend in and become one and not get found out. Because if he's found out, you know that the military are on his ass. you know, as all sort of alien films go like that. Um... Alan Tudich, I'm, I'm really happy to see him back in. Like, I know he does a lot of voice work, but I'm happy to see his him back on the big, like back on the screen. Right? He's a capable lead. He's so deadpan. He's his facial expressions and his cadence. His cadence makes the show like sort of gives his alien character like it's all it, it's totally own sort of personality. It's funny. He's a brilliant actor, um, and his mannerisms. Now. Like I said about the premise, right? He wants to destroy humans. You wouldn't, you don't necessarily get a TV show or a movie where you follow the main character and he succeeds in a way that, oh, he's just going to blow the earth up and that's it, done. I won't reveal the ending, but I'm sure that you could sort of, my thoughts were that, right, okay, it's going to be a story where, you know, he learns to love the humans, he sees the beauty in everyone. But along the way, like, you know, he's, for the most part, he's seeing how destructive we are and how we, we ruin things and how we don't treat each other right and how he can just get away with things because his his character is naturally like sort of aggressive towards humans like he, he does he has a disregard for human life like you know there's a lot of murder here there's a lot of like you know he, he's battling against like the, pl the police are on him like these rangers but they're like they're on the x marks the spot right like they're there they, they're meeting him every episode, but they just don't clock it. And he he sort of knows how smart he is compared to everyone else. And, like, then he goes up against these kids, right? This boy and girl duo, partners in crime, who are on to him. And, like, yes, to sort of battle his wits against, like, children. So, like, there's that dynamic as well, where, like, he sort of sees that, okay, not all humans are the same, right? I, I'm not as smart as I think I am. And when you think you're the smartest person in the room... You're automatically the, the most stupid, right? Um, yeah, back to his before the Tudich like does this narration, like a monologue for like each episode. That's that's a highlight for me. Like the way he just speaks about like what's going on and his true feelings. Oh, I just want to throw this guy in a lake, or I'm gonna chop this dude up and throw him in my freezer, and you know it's 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 wicked. Um, he's so blunt and mean. Um, it's it's a really funny show. I was looking forward to it, but I didn't know how good it was. You know, shows it could be a hit and miss, right? But no, this one was a hit. I enjoyed it. The The plot was really quite, you know, really quite easy. Um, there was no sort of conflict as such. The last few episodes ramp up a little bit. Where, okay, you don't necessarily feel safe. But yeah, overall, quite easy. Over the top moments as well. There was music dotted around willy nilly, like talking over like, over over dialogue, and I hate when they, things do that. And he did it here; it's really unnecessary. There was, like I mentioned before, like there's you know the, the whole military aspect of chasing aliens down, right? There is a subplot with the military, like that comes into it midway or whatnot, and you know the chase and the alien, and it and it, and it gets off. Like I wasn't interested at all in that aspect, but. By the end, like it fleshes out some characters that are quite have some have some good moments, a bit over the top, like female military officer. But the bloke, he was pretty cool. Now Corey Reynolds plays like the ranger that's the ranger of the the small town that this is all set in, and he's my favourite character. He puts in a blinding performance. He's funny. He's sort of like. I, I can't even begin to sort of like say my praises for him. He's really good. He puts in a wicked performance. And he has a partner that bounces off him. And she's she's good too. Not as he's he's my favourite character, but 
she has some really cool moments. There's um, an actress called Sarah Tonko, and she has a big part. She has a nice role, you know, um, getting to know the alien the most out of anyone. And there's also another actress. I didn't get her name down, but she's she's like Sarah Tonko's like best mate in the show, and she's also a an underrated character too. I, I sort of I really liked her part, especially the more you sort of find out about her. She has some great comedic moments too. Yeah, back to the kids. They were wicked. Like Max, the boy, and Saha, um, his partner in crime, the girl. Oh, they she they have they they're really funny too. They're charming, you know. They're kids, but they're sort of taking on this grown up sort of like adventure, whimsical, and but they're really quite capable too. It's weird. It's yeah. There's a few characters to like in here, and then there's some over the top moments and some characters that like start off really good and then get some terrible writing. And so there there's 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 some bad moments and some cool moments, but the comedy just takes over. And Alan Tudyk, it's great to see him back in in a in a live action role you know this what you're going to get from resident alien is you're going to get comedy you're going to get murder you're going to get typical drama in a small town and and that's resident alien right thank you